typical. Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you uh, an overview of my workflow of texture and asset for my Archivis project and importing it into Unreal Engine. So let's dive right in. Right, so this is the old version of the texture which I'm going to improve. It's just like a turbine fan for the uh, project that I'm working on. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Blender. Uh, all this crap and I'm going to import the file and that's our file still got the old uh, animation which is good just change the Scale a bit here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get a UV map from this. Join that together. We get a UV map from this uh, so we can draw some texture masks to create uh, the masks to create two different materials. So, switch this to UV mode. Tab and that's our UV map, and uh, we just export it out blah, 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 to the desktop. Uh, export them out. Then we're gonna open it up in in Affinity Photo. So this is a decent program. It's pretty much like Photoshop, but you pay like a one-off fee. Like 40 pound, 30, 40 pound, and it's pretty much exactly like Photoshop without the subscription service. So that's why I've been looking for a, been looking for a free sort of an alternative to Photoshop for a while, and this is what I found. Let me just move that back to screen. So yeah, I've just been looking for an alternative to Photoshop for a while. And this is probably the best uh, version that I've found. Sort of. And I'm just going to create the mask here. Pretty much like that. So I could have done this masking in substance, but I'm choosing to do it here because I think one it would be more accurate and two it just saved me a bit more time I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Okay, so here is the uh, a mask I created earlier. Uh, basically, Anywhere that's black will be a material, and anywhere that's white is going to be a different material. So here. And I also created a an outline for the normals. So where the two materials join together, there's be like a little ridge where they sort of look like they've been joined together. So this will create my little normals. Normals map from that. Okay, so we're back in substance, um, and I'm just going to delete all of these. 
and import all my masks. I also created a noise mask for one of my materials, so we can edit that a little bit. This is a simple noise that I created in Affinity Photo, and this is my normals, my normal map. So let's import that in. And texture. And into this project. Okay, so the first thing we do is select my ID map, and my ID map is going to be this one here. That's all good. Uh, and we do a fill layer, and we do an italic. Completely rough. And we're going to do another fill layer for the second material, which we're going to do red, let's say. Metallic red, and the roughness is pretty high for that. And then what we do, uh, just right click and add the mask. And then you want to pick where you want your material to go. So it comes up with your ID mask, which we set over here. And so I want the red material on this white bit here. And boom, done. That's pretty much that. And then we, the next layer, we're going to add a add the uh, normals. So we're going to add a layer. We're going to turn off everything except the normal. And we click on this height. Uh, I'm just gonna find my texture. Wait a second. Press no. Fill layer, and uh, it's going to be messed up for now. But we go in here, <coughs> and UV scale to one. It sorts that out, and then uh, we turn off the color, metallic, rough, uh, and just leave the height. Just leave the height on. And that creates our dent, sort of uh, these ridges, and you can see it's backwards. So we we'll just add uh, the levels and to the height, and then we just invert that, and that's inverted there. And the final thing I want to add is. A bit of dirt and some edge wear. So what we do now is because this height information, these ridges here are not baked in, it's not gonna come up when we add a, a filter. So what we need to do is export our normal texture. So normal normal uh, desktop. Export that, and then basically turn off this height channel, re-import, find out where you saved your normals, re-import that as a texture, import that, and we click on normals and bing, put our normals back in. So that's looking pretty tidy. I haven't obviously done the other side of this texture because I don't think there's any point. As you're not going to see it from below. Well, from above, just from below. And then what we've got to do now is bake our textures again. 
move this high poly model mm. for the sake of it, 2048. And we only want um, curvature and the occlusion. And well, I guess we have world space more than one. Bake all that. Give it a while. Sorry. Uh, not bake on one. So that's all done. Um, add another fill layer. Right click. Uh, black mask. And to this black mask, I usually add a generator. Um, so that's a little bit of dirt. I think. Really. Really subtly, so we're going to change the color here. Uh, I think that's kind of orange, it's kind of cool. Uh, dark, very, very dark orange. That looks kind of quite dirty. Right. And you just, I just adjust the parameters like really, really subtle. Like I probably do it to be honest. Uh, Up the contrast a little bit, down the dirt layer. So I mean, you're not gonna hardly, you're gonna hardly notice it, but it's gonna be there. Add a separate fill layer. Uh, not more. And then uh, add a generator to that for my edge wear. go too too crazy with uh, these modifiers I usually have them really subtle so you can't tell so you can just about tell that they're there Until we got something like that, I think. And then uh, I'm just going to export it into Unreal and see how that looks. I think that's looking good. So, uh, export textures. Uh, we got one for Unreal Engine. Some warnings, but that's due to opacity and emissive, which we don't have. Right, so over in Unreal, I'm chucking the fan, import all that, and there's our. Lovely fan spinning. Uh, 
And we're going to import our material maps, which is here. Right, material. Blah, blah. Drag these three in here. Um, drop normal. Um, base color. Uh, you wanna you wanna check this texture here. Uh, make sure that sRGB is off. Make sure that this sampler type here is a linear color because uh, Unreal's not going to like it if it's not. And then uh, the first one is ambient occlusion, second one is metallic. Blue one's metallic and green one is roughness. Yes, that was done. Apply that. And we're going to apply that to our fan. Drag that in here. Uh, just compiling the shaders and this is the final result and if we move the light around this is how it looks and it's come out really well you can see the little decent uh, lines around here obviously um, you'd have to play around with it a lot if you'd like to get a, a better result but this is a really quick way of the workflow of how I create my objects, create my assets in on the for Unreal Engine and that's actually turned out really well if you enjoyed this video this is just a quick overview of the workflow I go through to create my assets for the Unreal Engine. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And if you want to see some more content, subscribe. See you later.